Tonight, Kim Jong-un could be one step closer to threatening America with a nuclear-tipped missile. The ballistic missiles his regime just test-fired landed within 200 miles of the coast of Japan. These were not Kim's most advanced missiles. But by launching at least four of them at once, experts say he's working toward a specific kind of threat. They're putting together salvos of missiles that may be harder to uh, defeat. And so three, four missiles going to the same place, maybe from different places, that's the kind of thing that's going to be a little bit harder, uh, not impossible, but a little bit harder to defeat. The missile test is viewed as Kim's warning in response to joint military exercises going on now between U.S. and South Korean forces. Kim views those drills as practice for an invasion of North Korea. The United States and South Korea deny this. Tonight, the Trump administration is calling his missile test a, quote, very serious threat and not ruling out a military response, promising it's prepared to use, quote, the full range of capabilities. U.S. officials know Kim is ramping up his missile capabilities toward launching a long-range ballistic missile, one that could send a nuclear warhead to the continental United States. It is a, a, different, uh, a different animal to shoot one all the way to the United States, uh, but they have in the last couple years been testing some solid fuel uh, motors that when combined together can get you some pretty long legs to get there. When is the key? When can they threaten? It could be this year, it could be next year. Uh, but, but this is the, the kind of capability that folks are pretty antsy about them deciding to test. U.S. officials and outside analysts say what's not clear is whether Kim's regime has adequately tested whether his nuclear-tipped missiles could survive re-entry into the atmosphere. There's a new report saying America has tried to disrupt Kim's missile program with cyber attacks. The New York Times reports that three years ago, President Obama ordered Pentagon officials to increase cyber strikes against North Korea's missile program hoping to sabotage the launches. The Times reports soon after Obama's order, several North Korean rockets began to explode and veer off course. It's not clear if that was due to the cyber attacks, North Korea's own mistakes, or something else. The alleged U.S. cyber program would be a good idea. The goal is to slow North Korea's development of deliverable nuclear weapons to buy time for potential changes in the North Korean political context meaning to buy time for the U.S. and its allies to somehow try to remove Kim Jong-un from power or to negotiate with Kim's regime for a drawdown of his weapons arsenal or to level more sanctions against Kim, maybe get China to pressure him further. Tonight, those are all options President Trump has before him as Kim Jong-un continues to aggressively test Mr. Trump with provocations.